Hi guys, this video is to discuss the latest version of iHUD. I have been working on version 3 and I have a beta version up on the Nexus page for testing and I would like you guys to try it out. The major thing that has changed um, in this version is the way I handle the Sky UI widgets, the heads-up display elements. So, for example, this includes things like the clock, a matter of time. I need, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a little bottle icon. That is from I need. And, of course, this also includes uh, when you take things like fortify, potions, spell effects, etc. And as you can see now, I've got the spell effects. However, you will also notice when I toggle immersive hood off, I toggle the compass off, only the active effects are now disappearing. This is the default behavior of the game. This is the major update for this version. I have isolated those spell effects from the other heads-up display elements. So mods such as a matter of time, frostfall, and so on, they will work as intended even if you have the active effects linked to your compass, as is the default. Now, of course, this means you need to probably change a few things. For example, on a matter of time, I've now got it toggling on another key, so I can turn it on and off at will, and I need is going to be visible until I drink something. So if I drink something, that icon will disappear. Frostfall is kind of the same. If I jump in a wet pool now, in fact, let's go and find one. Okay, so here I am in Riverwood. I'm gonna dive into the river, and as you can see, I am now wet. Soaking wet. And hopefully I will start drying off reasonably soon. And just in case you thought that was the magic cabal, I will uh, I will even cast a spell, perhaps. What spells do I actually have? Um, sparks! Something totally not in character. If I go into the water... Come on, get into the water and get wet. There you go, there's, there's the water bar. There's the magic bar. As you can see, two separate bars. I, um... But as you can see, that is now functioning, even though I don't have the active effects visible. Actually, I've probably run out of active effects. So I will fortify health and resist shock. There you go, so active effects are visible. If I turn those off along with the compass, you will still get the warnings when I'm wet, warm, and all of that sort of thing. So now the mods that add those heads-up display elements are responsible for their visibility. Now this may not be to everybody's liking. This, this may not be something you want. And if that is the case, you can go back to the old functionality simply by this new option, Link All Sky UI Widgets. And basically what that will do is link all of the widgets. So now, for example, the matter of time, if I put that on, if I hide the compass, it hides a matter of time. You can see I need is hidden and so on. And again, if I go into the water here, you can see I'm wet. If I hide the compass, it hides frostfall as well. So if you preferred the old functionality where it just hides absolutely everything unless you press the button, you can still do that. However, if you want to leave those mods to sort it out themselves, that is actually the default now. So there you go. Compass and active effects. We will see. And yet I need, and a matter of time, work pretty much as the mod authors intended. Now, the way I've changed this, the way I've coded it, it will allow me to actually incorporate iHUD control of other mods if there are some mods out there that add heads-up display elements in a way that you don't want them to show up. But, for example, maybe you don't want iHUD to control a matter of time you don't want it to control Frostfall, but perhaps you want it to control I Need. So the I Need is linked with the active effects. I will actually be able to do that now. The, the way I've changed the code, I will be able to add little features like that if 
necessary. My guess is things like that will not be necessary because in actual fact, if you've got those icons showing, you probably want to know that you're hungry. Therefore, you probably want them always on. So, so for example, now to hide them, I would actually have to eat and drink, which I'm guessing is the main reason to have those icons. So there you go. The other change that I have made is in the way the iHUD key works. Previously, you'd press the key and the compass would come on. You'd press the key again and the compass would disappear. But in fact, that is not what is happening now. What you just saw there was me pretending that was the case. Uh, if I press the key now and hold it, the compass is visible. The second I release the key, it disappears. So if you just want to quickly look and then take your finger off the button if that's the way you would rather do this that's how it functions that is now actually the default because that's probably how i'm going to leave it i want to quickly check the compass okay i'm done and just take my finger off the key if you don't like that if you want it to toggle as it did before again as you probably have already guessed i added that option here key press toggles select that and now i'll press it and release and it's on, press and release again, toggles off. Pretty simple. So none of the old functionality has been lost. It's all there if you want it, but there are now a couple of extra options. One last thing is it's just a cosmetic thing. I've also changed it so that, for example, if you select active effects always on, it makes these disabled because they're kind of useless. If you've got the active effects always on, doesn't matter. These, these are irrelevant. Same is true of crosshair always on. If you select that, these are irrelevant, so it disables them. That just gives you a visual clue as to what you're doing. The other one is, if you deactivate iHood, there are no options. So iHood is now turned off. It's switching all the scripts down. The scripts are shutting down. This is what you should always do if you're going to uninstall the mod, by the way. You just deactivate it. Stand there, probably best to just wait a few seconds. All the scripts will be terminated. It's not a very heavy mod anyway. It has very, very lightweight scripts. Uh, but, and then uninstall. But then if you go back, activate, and now you have all of your options. But it remembers the options as well. It, it doesn't reset them. It just hides them because they're unnecessary. And that's it. So it's, it's a, little, a little bit more instinctive um, in the menu. And that's it. That is version 3. It is available in a beta form. Please test it out and give me some feedback if you find any problems and so on. Um, and if not, I will release this as the next official version.